What's up guys, what's going on? Kometa Vlogs here. I wanted to talk about how this uh, pandemic has affected me and how it's affected my relationships, uh, my long distance relationship with Ellen, AKA LDR as they call it. I wanna, I wanna talk about it, how this pandemic has, has affected me. Uh, when this first started, um, it's been a while now, damn. A lot of time has passed, but um, when this first started, guys, I think it started getting real serious, like what, last, not last March, but the, you know, 2020, March of 2020, I believe it was. Um, I was still in a long, or still in a long distance, might as well have been. <laughs> I was still in a relationship with my ex, and I like never seen her I didn't feel good about the situation because, you know, she had, uh, you know, her, her, her ex had lived in the same, under the same apartment, same roof with her and the kids. And, uh, you know, she always said there was nothing going on between them. Well, I don't know. I just, I never felt good. And then when the pan pandemic happened, we already hadn't seen each other for like a month or so. And then when the pandemic happened, I, I felt like I literally, if I went out there to visit her or whatever, uh, that I was going to be arrested or something because, you know, it was locked down during that time and I'd never experienced such a thing. So I didn't know what the hell to think. So I was just trying like not to get arrested. So I didn't like, you know, go see her or nothing. But then like when, when I said, oh, uh, you know, scratch all that, I just want to see her or whatever she didn't want to come see me or she was too busy or shit just kept happening and I, I just didn't feel good and I you know the whole reason why I, I you know was looking for somebody in the first place was because I didn't want to be alone you know I, I wanted to have someone to come home to every day and my ex I never had that at all I didn't have that uh what I what I was looking for that it didn't fill the void that I was looking to fill you know, only filled partial, right? And not the complete thing, what I was looking for. So then I ended that relationship and, you know, I dated others and then I met, I met Ellen. I met Ellen Minoso, my sweetheart guys. The one that I've been with for more than a year, I've been dedicated to her. We're in a long distance relationship. And uh, let me tell you, it's, it's been hard because of the pandemic because, you know, I could have gone and seen her a long time ago but the pandemic has pre prevented me from being able to do that because the Philippines, they have their, their borders closed and I can't even go there. And when they do open it, it's probably, I gotta do all these paperwork and stuff. And, and I, I don't feel like I should have to do that. Like they should just open it ASAP. And you know, like before, uh, US never needed visa or anything to go to the Philippines. We just buy a freaking ticket and we go. And that's the way it should be, guys. Um, so I really hope they open it up soon because I, I want to see Alan, guys. We never even met, like, personally yet, you know. And, and she's, you know, the one that I want to fill that void, you know, that void of having someone always to come home to and just not, not feeling alone. And, uh, you know, she's done a good job of making me feel not feel alone you know, even though she's not here, she's always video chatting me. Uh, and if I don't video chat her or whatever, she'll be like, where you at? You know, like she doesn't leave me lonely. So even though we, we connecting over video chat, uh, you know, I don't feel that lonely feeling. So we have, we have a nice strong connection and, um, we love each other so much. Uh, even though like we haven't personally like touched or anything, that's the only thing in the relationship that we're, you know, lacking. Other than that, like the physical interaction, uh, that's the only thing we're, we're lacking, you know? And it's something I wanna get to. Eventually I wanna be able to like, you know, bring her here, marry her and have someone to come home to, have Ellen to come home to every day. And that's what I want, you know? Um, so yeah, pandemic's been hard, man. Uh, you know, um, I work at a retail store, so, you know, I have to be careful around here, try not to get it, but, uh, when it first started, you know, uh, you know, I didn't want to go driving around because I was going to get arrested or whatever, but 
I never, I never really get sick, so I never was really afraid of it that much. Um, if anything, I was more afraid to get the vaccine than anything. But I went and I did it, you know. I did it because, uh, you know, two motivating factors for me. I wouldn't have to wear the mask anymore. <laughs> and uh, it would help me go to the Philippines, maybe, is what I thought. Uh, but still, things are locked down. doesn't matter that I'm vaccinated. I still can't go to the Philippines, guys. It's crazy. So, um, anyway, uh, now, because of the new variant, things are, you know, getting worse again, getting more cases again, and so they're probably not going to be opening up anytime soon, so it's hard, man, it's hard, um, and they make us wear the damn mask again, even though I'm vaccinated, isn't that sucky, you know, I went through a lot of shit when I got vaccinated, guys, uh, freaking, um, I just, you know, the first shot, I had a panic attack. I couldn't breathe. I ended up on the floor because I was scared of that shit. A lot of people saying shit about it, you know, um, tinfoil hat type people, conspiracy theory type people saying stuff about it. And, uh, yeah, um, it's just, they put, they put fears in my head, I guess, anxiety about it. And that's why I had the panic attack. I don't know. Um, anyway, after, you know, the first shot, uh, I didn't really feel much after that panic attack. I was all good. Second shot. Yeah. I had like fever symptoms or whatever, but it wasn't that bad. Really? Uh, just the fact that I had that fever symptoms on the hottest day of the year at the time was the hottest day of, of 2021. Right. Uh, back in like, I think I did it in May. I don't know. But anyway, <sighs> all is good. Uh, we just got to be patient and hopeful. Um, you know, the things are going to change for the better. A lot of conspiracy theories going around saying, you know, the government created this. It's all, you know, whatever, pandemic or whatever they want to call it. I, I don't know about all that. Um, a lot of people saying, like, you know, China created it. Hey, it could have been. It could have created it. And, um, you know, some people say it's because, of, like, they can beat us with, uh, you know, military war or whatever. So they got to do it that way. Yeah, I don't know, man. Who knows? It, it's a crazy world out there. People doing crazy, corrupt things out there. And uh, I don't really know what to believe. I just know I don't say anything unless I, like, I got facts in front of my my face so I'm, I'm not saying nothing about any of those theories um all i do know is this pandemic does suck and i want to see ellen but if it wasn't for the pandemic maybe i wouldn't even met ellen because maybe i wouldn't have been pushed a little harder to separate from my ex and you know maybe i wouldn't have been looking still looking for someone right if it wasn't for the pandemic so so maybe you know it, it's a blessing in disguise even though like it sucks for a lot of people um maybe i would have met ellen without the pandemic so now that we still have the pandemic man we just gotta gotta be more patient and um uh, we gotta just uh wait mm -mm. our time will come um and then i can go i can go see her eventually Hopefully by the end of this year, um, maybe it'll have to be next year, but I don't want to wait that long. Uh, I really don't want to have to wait that long to see her because, you know, I love her, man. And I don't want to have that physical interaction to, to show her, like, how much I really love her. Because I know that it'll take things to a much higher level once I can do that, you know. And there's people th say stuff like, oh, maybe we won't like each other or whatever. BS, man. <laughs> we spent more than a year together, uh, you know, video chat every day, constantly. Like, we know each other pretty well. Uh, we know that we'll be well together. We'll do well together, you know. We, we understand each other, you know. So, anyway, yeah, it'll just enhance the relationship uh, when we can finally be together, guys. <sighs> And I hope that day comes soon. Hopefully, guys. I, I, I also want to be more financially free. So if AMC stock could do that, you know, big squeeze that I can make a lot of money on AMC stock and end up being debt-free with no car payment, 
God, that would help things so much better for when like I actually do go to the Philippines to sit here. There's, there's no stress about money. There's no stress about being away from work because I'd have that money, you know? So like, let's hope, let's hope AMC will do that for us and uh, we'll make that, that big money, that real money, that life changing money. All right. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all so much. Um, I hope you guys uh, like this one. Maybe you guys can relate to it. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it all. Uh, how has this pandemic affected you? Has it infected? Uh, infected? <laughs> has it affected uh, your long distance relationship with someone or just your relationship in general? Let me know, guys. I appreciate y'all. Smash that like, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.